And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Zoe Nautilus. That's right, it's Meme Tier Monday. We got some crazy champion pairings today and just some really fun decks. That's what Meme Tier Monday is all about. So this is going to be uh, having Zoe go deep. We're going to be playing Zoe with um, Nautilus and Sea Monsters. And kind of the thinking here is, is deep is a keyword that you can give to the other stuff. So like if you if you can level up Zoe and so like whenever you summon an ally you give all of your other allies like its keywords. So like if we have leveled up Zoe and then we play like um an abyssal eye for example, then we give all of our stuff elusive and deep. <laughs> and so and then if we are deep, you know, so we give them all plus three plus three and elusive. I don't know. That could be kind of cool. We're it's meme tier Monday, right? We're playing different stuff. We got this one. We got uh, Lissandra Lux with War Mother's Call up next, which is going to be sweet. And then we got another kind of celestial deck, but with Snap Vines um, after that. And then Zed's Monastery going to be a, a Navori Highwayman buff deck, which should be pretty cool. So yeah, so let's go ahead and give this a try. We're just going to kind of combine some early Targon stuff with uh, deep things. And should be pretty fun. So Zoe Nautilus. All right, so for Meme Tier Monday, we just play it on over in normal um, instead of ranged. Try to try to help the deck uh, really show off a little bit more. So let's see how it goes. Okay. Okay, we'll go get rid of that. And I guess I mulligan the salvage, but I don't know about that salvage. I kind of want to keep it. I guess, you know what, second thought, we'll keep it. We'll see what happens. Right, I'll go ahead and pass and play this Mountain Goat here. Try to have the Mountain Goat create a gem to discard for the Spacey Sketcher. All right, so Tarek Sivir out of the way. Build that. I can. I can do it. All right, just attacking for two, and I will just take the two. Unfortunately, none of like the big celestials you can get with star shaping are sea monsters <laughs> to cost less with Nautilus. That'd be cool. You know, like there's like the one that's the dragon. That'd be cool. If there's one that was a sea monster. Far away am I? 28, still quite a ways. Cause also if we if we do like get to deep and then we have extra like jettisons or dredge dredgers that we don't need anymore, then our spacey sketcher can get rid of those. But our Spacey Sketcher could also find, you know, like the um, the zero mana one to make something cost one less. So we can get Nautilus in play a turn earlier. So we're at 22. So two Jettisons will get us deep. Crescent Strike. That could be very useful against some sea monsters later. I was hoping to get Moon Silver. <laughs> the ocean in space. And 
we need to play both of these to get deep for the slaughter docks next turn. This card has made Slaughter Docks worse. Is it Sea Scarab or Abyssal? I mean, I guess it has to be Abyssal Eye, but I don't know. That's Sea Scarab. Danger paid. We got all these Targon cards instead of like the good Shadow Isles cards that are tossing, and yet we're still tossing better than our opponent. I don't want to attack and let them block with like these two ones and toss more cards. Do not want that to happen. Alright, so they will be deep next turn as well. So all they gotta do is attack with a couple of things. Or play that. They, they, this thing toss on, you know, last breath toss one. Is that thing? So they want to stop tossing, I guess. Which, honestly, I should probably, you know, like, I I really want to stop tossing right about now, also. Sea Scarab is a... Can I paint you? I will not rest. It is kind of a problem like that. We won't be able to get that Abyssal Eye back because we have leveled up our our uh, Nautilus. They only have the one champion, though. Put that back. And look at that. Celestial cards with deep better than normal deep. Proven fact right here with this game. Put Targon cards in your deck and your deck is better. <laughs> Wanna know? Oh no! They got a lot more Targon cards than us. They have a lot more Targon cards. So we're gonna have to go pretty deep if we're gonna want to win this one. It's, 
I'm keeping the first three. It's do I keep Abyssal Eye? And I already have like first three turns kind of covered. So I kind of want to keep it. I mean, it is like an elusive. I don't know. They can just get excited, the Abyssal Eye. I guess we'll mulligan. There goes our hush. Just had one hush in here to keep him keep him honest. I'm gonna play on turn three. Wow. Spilled paint is just accidental art. I get ten damage by playing higher gun, or I wait till next turn for higher gun. I guess we just attack here. Could moon silver that hired gun and play it also. I probably should have just sketched away the Nautilus. I don't know. Wow, and they still pass in? They're gonna let me open attack. Sunlight guide you, my brethren. Wow. I was expecting like a static shock or something. What? Yeah, what was our opponent doing? Yeah, that was that was a weird game. But we win aggro. Kind of showed that our deck can also go pretty aggro. We're pretty low to the ground as well, so we can, we can go big with deep. Or we can go aggro with just a bunch of little two ones and stuff. That game was different. Attack. Alright, got a super cool star chart. It is. As the kids say, super cool. They got the Ascended Doggo. Try to match up the power of our regular Doggo. Uh, do I want Moonsilver? Or Serpent? So right now I'm attacking for... 4 on them this next turn. I could play the Serpent make it attack for 6. Serpent. See, we, we can go aggro. We only have three mana. Maybe it's worth playing Jaw Hunters. What are they going to play with three mana? Like a stupid 3-2 or something? That we challenge with a serpent? Blood and guts. All right, well, that's a little bit bigger than a 3-2. A mm -hmm. I dealt another two points of damage to them, but then I lost my 2-1 challenger over an open attack. Higher gun is strongest. How close are we to deep? Need 14. 
Yeah, I think we're going to be uh, having Meme Tier Tuesday tomorrow. We've got, I think I have four more Meme Tier donation decks that we can play. Ugh. I was hoping for Equinox to stop this Dragon Guard Lieutenant. Man, that's too bad. Or, you know, one more mana we would have been able to stun. Crescent, stri Crescent Strike just basically always useful. Ready weapons. Shield bears are really annoying. Please, no sharp sight. Or single combat. The shield bears are perfect, though. It's not a card you necessarily see that often anymore, but man, they were perfect this game. They really were. Four total mana have a 5-8 that can block elusives. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I serve my people with pride. 12 away from deep. Yeah, shield bearers have, have been the counter to our deck so far. Be deep before playing the Devourer and Shipwreck Order. Or, well, not necessarily the Shipwreck Order, but before the Devourer. good early. Dragons, such fascinating creatures. I'm standing right here, friend. But this Targon Demacia deck's really good, and they play great defense. So they got us. Careful. Yeah, it's it's not worth killing the Dragon Child with Devour. No attacks. I was planning, of course, on using star shaping after attacks, but they did not attack, so that didn't happen. I think I want like the seven mana spell that gives all of our things plus two, plus two everywhere. I think that's what I'm going to be looking for with the star shaping, but. I don't know if we can beat Aurelian Soul. I don't know if our Nautilus beats Aurelian Soul. Top end. One, we don't even have Nautilus. But two, assuming they go Aurelian Soul next turn. I don't think we defeat that. Is Great Beyond or the Immortal Fire better? I guess the Immortal Fire? One card short from being able to jettison and be deep. Well, no Nautilus. A really in soul, sorry. No really in soul. Suffer my 
fury. Yeah, 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 none like you. You get it. I definitely wanted to get the, the seven mana celestial spell on one of those, but we didn't get it. Maybe they have no sharp sights or fight spells or anything. Maybe they, maybe they just have none. With a million cards over there and that's like their whole deck. No hush or sharp sight or single combat or concerted strike. That's like basically everything in their deck. Yep, they had their big champion. I did not have my big champion. Now they'll pay attention. So, good game. Sure, Salvage could draw Nautilus, but what, I don't know what Nautilus is supposed to do right here. It's too late for Nautilus. Alright, good game. Two and one. The... Alright, Katarina Azir. I like this combination. This is a cool champion combination that the opponent's got going on. Act token turn two. Yeah, this is better. Opponents playing like a deck that should be a normal, right? Like that Shivana Aurelian Soul is like <laughs> filled with like just the best of best cards. That doesn't necessarily need to be a deck in normal. Like I was wondering while I was playing that, I was thinking like what kind of win rate does the opponent with that kind of deck have in normal? It's probably insane. Get some tossing going. Reduce this deck size. Sand soldiers. So we take six. Hold on to Hired Gun. <laughs> 
13 away from D. Another one of those. It's starting to be an annoying amount of damage. Let's just Crescent Strike these things. No going back. Catalina. Sorry, Zoe. This might hurt. Ooh, new Zoe. Crescent Strike has been very good to us these games. Not Liz. Boo. See what we see. So, Zoe dead again. Ooh, right in negation. They got rid of a mana gem for that. Interesting. I can you can do some blocking. You can take two. I think that's acceptable. Violence solves everything. All right, good draw. It's going to let us go deep. Vessel small, but she ain't lacking courage. Right now, they can't block Fearsome Nautilus. Might as well just try that. And even if they would have like played it, you know, by playing the Jaw Hunters also, they would have had a fearsome blocker. I was gonna have my Jaw Hunters be able to challenge it, and then you know we did create this one mana devour adapt, so it also would have been able to take out a fearsome blocker. Alright, that will do. Transfusion trick. Dex looking good. I imagine we get this with, you know, devour, you know, with these double devour and everything. You will feast soon enough. I imagine we're gonna get this. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I guess I could have attacked with the seven five fish. That's right. I was thinking about like it being a four two, but yeah, it was gonna be a seven five. So yeah, I should have attacked with it. Hopefully the opponent doesn't concede and allows us to level up Zoe, and then we can give all of our things deep. No, they conceded. 
So I want to see what that would, what, you know, I want to see that happen once, right? Like I've never seen level up Zoe give everything deep. Maybe we need to make a give it all deep deck. So yeah, deep as a keyword, but you just you never see um, deep as like a keyword for <laughs> you know like Victor. Like you never give Victor deep. Uh, Azir Hecarim. I could see getting rid of the Jaw Hunters as well. I don't know. No, I don't think Victor can get deep. See what we see. So Success gets you noticed around here. There's three to five keywords that Victor can't get. Well, yeah, like the, the negative keywords, definitely Victor can't get. But deep's a positive keyword. So it's a little surprising that, that Victor can't get a positive keyword like deep. Well, dra dragon's not a keyword. Fury is a keyword. The dragons have, and, and Victor can get Fury. Together, you are children of Shurima. <laughs> no, see, like, look at here. See, like, elusive, deep. See how deep's a keyword? Just like elusive is. Turbo is here. Danger. Oh yeah, I'm not saying it necessarily be good for Victor, but I'm just saying that it's a it's a keyword and surprising that it doesn't show up at all. You would think it would. Okay, Neverglade Collector is definitely going to get really tricky. We could use an Equinox for this Neverglade Collector. Or not. Okay, so we don't really... So I guess it's just the Serpent. I don't know, what, what'd they say? Said it's time? It's weird. So we're one away from deep, so this should be round start toss one, then you're deep, right? So like we should get the sea monster with this. I would think. Yeah, we watched the new video, uh, saw there was like three cards, they were all commons, I think. Looked okay. To the street! Show them the might of our army! Shows of power excite the people and quell our enemies. Um, I don't know. I could see it. Mm. 
I'm just gonna do this. Sedition. We keep this two one back to block, um, you know, potential sand soldiers and stuff like that. Technically, we should play Zoe first over Nautilus, but I kind of want to see what's up. Alright, it's going to attack for a lot. Should be able to just survive this attack and then attack back and win. Okay, that will do. Zoe Nautilus with the 4 1. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it, it kind of worked going, you know, having our early Targon stuff for like the, the early game and, and, you know, being able to like go wide and play just t tons of one drops, right? Having uh, 12 one mana cards and then a couple of twos and everything like that. And then, you know, super cool star charts. They are able to, and same with Spacey Sketcher, they're able to turn, like, Spacey Sketcher is able to turn an expensive card into something that's a lot cheaper. Help you, like, you know, go wide, stay alive, that kind of stuff. And then, boom, you have your top end with your Devourer Depths, Nautilus, that kind of stuff, your deep deck. So it worked out pretty well. You know, like, we did play against, like, the one tier one deck with the Shivana, Rillian Soul that we ended up losing. But it was it was kind of close, like, that that game. Like, they really had the, uh, the Solari 2-drop that you don't see that often that... Uh, really helped our opponent win that that game uh, but it was pretty cool it was pretty cool all right so first meme tier deck certainly a success with zoe nautilus those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there leave those comments what kind of meme tier decks do you want to see next week on meme tier monday before the new expansion comes out because it's going to be out in about nine days or so so we're going to have one one more meme tier monday next week before the new expansion so let me know what y'all want but that's all i got here for zoe nautilus so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video